Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. A few weeks ago, I created this video on how to unprotect sheets in Excel and a lot of people commented and asked me whether I can show them how to unlock VBA projects. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you two methods to quickly unlock VBA projects when you do not have the password. But before I get to it, I have a request. Please use these methods responsibly. Use this if you genuinely have a need, if you have a file and you have forgotten the password or if it was created by someone else in your company and that person is not around, then use these methods. But please do not use them to unlock other people's work and take advantage of them. On the other side, if you are the one who's locking your VBA projects, please know that the protection in Excel is not very robust and it could easily be broken. So when you are unlocking, sorry, when you're locking your VBA projects, make sure that you have more protection around it or you are trying multiple methods to protect it because if you just lock the VBA project, it can easily be broken. Now let me show you the two methods I'm talking about that you can use to unlock VBA projects. So the first method I'm going to show you uses a VBA code and it only works with 64-bit Excel. So if you're using 32-bit Excel, then this code may not work for you. In that case, you can use the other method that I'm going to show you. Also, full disclosure, this is not my VBA code. I did not create it. I copied it from Stack Overflow and it was created by a Vietnamese developer called Su Tom. And maybe I'm mispronouncing the name, uh, but full disclosure that I did not create this code. So I will give you the link of Stack Overflow so you can go and get the code from there and read the comments. And I'm also going to give you the code in the description. So I have the code here in a notepad file and this is the link of the uh, Stack Overflow page from where I copied this code. And this is the code, so let me copy this. Now, what I'm going to do is this is my file, which is example.xlsm that has a VBA project that is protected. So if I open the VBA editor by holding the Alt key and pressing the F11 key, this is the VBA editor and you can see here the project is un uh, is protected. So it is asking for password and I cannot even see what modules and what uh, objects it has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new Excel file and run that VBA code and that is going to unlock this VBA project. So I'm going to hold the control key and press the N key so it opens a new Excel file. And here again, I'm going to go into the VBA editor. So hold the Alt key and press F11. And here you can see now I have this file uh, book one, which is unlocked because this is the new one I've opened. I'm going to insert a module here. And in this module, I'm going to paste the code that I copied from the text file. And in this code, you will see there are multiple parts. And I'm going to go to the last one here, which says VBA unprotected and place the cursor here and run this code. And when I run this code, I should see this message VBA project is unprotected. See what happens when I run this code. It shows me this dialog box. Uh, somehow it's not showing me the message properly, but anyway, I'm assuming it's the message. And now I can come here in my VBA project example.xlsm file. And now you can see it has been unprotected. I can see the modules and here I have this code in this module. So this is a very simple and quick way to unlock VBA projects. You just simply run this in a new Excel file and it would unlock all the VBA projects. Uh, as I mentioned, it only works for 64-bit Excel. So if you're not using 64-bit Excel or for some reason this VBA code doesn't work for you, you can use the second method I'm about to show you. Here I have the example.xlsm file and it has a VBA project that is locked. So if I go into the VBA editor and I double click on this, you can see it's asking for a password and I do not know the password. So I need to somehow either remove it or unlock it. So what I'm going to do is use a third party tool called a hex editor and using the hex editor, we will be able to replace the password with something that we already know. So we do not know the password of this file yet, but we will be able to remove this and replace this with something that we already know. So what I'm going to do is close this Excel file and go to the folder that has this Excel file and change the extension from .xlsm to zip. And now when I hit enter, it is going to ask me whether I'm okay converting the file because I'm changing the name extension. And when I click on yes, it is going to convert this into a zip folder. And now when I double click on this, it has all these folders. I'm going to go into the Excel folder and here I'm going to copy this file called VBA project.bin and bring it out of this zip folder. So I let me copy it just next to the zip folder. Now I'm going to use the third party tool, which is a hex editor to open this bin file. So I'm going to uh, use a tool called HXD editor. You can download it from this website, which is the CNET website. So it's trustworthy. It's a very lightweight tool. And once you're done with it, you can easily remove it or you can keep it. It doesn't make your system slow. So you can download it from here. And now when I go back, to this file, I'm going to open this bin file in the uh, in that hex editor. So I'm going to open that editor now. 
So this is how this uh, HXT editor looks like. I'm going to go to the file tab and click on open. And now I'm going to open this VBA project.bin. Now this has the backend of that file. I do not understand this coding at all, but what I'm looking for is a specific term, a specific sequence of characters. So I'm going to hold the control key and press the F key. And here I'm going to type DPB and I'm going to search for this. So when I click okay, it takes me to this part and it has this part DPB equal to, and then some alphanumeric characters in double quote. So I'm going to copy these here. Now I've copied this and I'm going to paste this in a notepad and here, let me paste this. Now in this notepad, I already have this code and I'm going to give you this code in the description in this video. But what this does is if I replace this code here at the top, which is there in the bin file with this code that I have it here, my password would automatically become one, two, three. So now this is the password that I do not know. And this is the password I do know. So I'm going to replace this here in the HX in the HXD editor. So I go back here. I'm going to come here, carefully select these remove them and paste what I just copied from the notepad file. One more thing is in case it happens that the length of these is more than the one that you have here. As of now, the length is equal, but let's say the length is a couple of more extra additional characters here, then you can pad the bottom one with a couple of zeros. So if there are, let's say two or three extra uh, characters, then you can add two or three extra zeros so that the length of both of these password is the same. Now I have this done here. I'm going to just save this and close the hex editor. Now I'm going to go back into this part here. And this is my file, I'm going to copy this, go back into the Excel uh, zip folder, in, then into the Excel folder, remove this file from here, and copy the one that I copied where I've already changed the password. Now I'm going to go back to the folder and change this from .zip to .xlsm. And now when I open this file, it would still have the password. So if I go into the VB editor, it still has the password, but now the password is something I know because in this file here, the password is one, two, three. And I'll show you how I did this. So if I type one, two, three here and I click okay, it unlocks my VB project. So again, works perfectly. I've tested it on multiple system, different kind of files, and it works perfectly in all the cases. Now, what I've done essentially is to get this code here, and you can use this code if you want, there is no issues, but if you want to create something which is something else, or maybe you want to put your name as the password, what you can do is, so you create a new Excel file and you password protect the VBA project and you put the password that you want to remember, which could be your name or it could be one, two, three, four or anything. Once you have saved that file and it is a password protected VBA project file, now you convert it into a zip folder, then get into the zip folder, go to the bin file, copy it outside, then open it in the hex editor and then find DPB and copy those characters. So these characters that I copied, I created a new file, gave it a password one, two, three, then opened the bin file in the hex editor, copied this and put it here. And now I replaced whatever password there was in the file that I did not know the password. I replaced the password with this here and I can easily unlock it with one, two, three. Now that I've unlocked it, I can just go here, go to VBA project properties, go into protection and remove the lock and remove the password so that now this file has been completely unlocked. So these are two methods that I could figure out. If you know any other method, please let me know in the comment section. So if you have a 64 bit Excel file, you can easily use the VBA code. And if that code is not working for you for some reason, then you can use this hex editor trick. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.